There was only one dog and one man left in the world. Robert picks up a sniper rifle. Just as he was aiming at his prey, a lion rushed out from the side and pounced on the elk. Robert was ready to hunt animals. But then there was another roar from the side. A male lion approached with his cubs. Robert finally couldn't bear to kill them. He slowly put down his weapon and left the food to the family of three. At that moment, the alarm clock suddenly sounded. Robert immediately looked back. He found that the sun was going down. He immediately turned around and prepared to go home. Because the night here belongs to Ark Seeker. Before entering the house, Robert sprinkled a high concentration of alcohol in front of the hallway to mask their scent. The room was filled with various food items he had collected. After he had eaten his dinner, the sun was about to disappear completely. Robert immediately began to close the doors and windows. The rooms here were specially modified. All the exits were reinforced with iron doors. There was no light coming from the rooms to the outside. When night falls, Robert curled up in the bathtub with his dog, even sleeping with a weapon in his hand. Now they can't make any noise, because the Ark Seekers have begun to feed in the dark. Listening to the hissing sounds from outside, Robert's mind went back three years. In order to cure terminal diseases such as cancer, scientists had developed a special virus. However, the virus mutated out of control as it evolved. In the end, 90% of the people on Earth died quickly, and the remaining 10% of the human race was overwhelmingly infected with the virus. They mutated into Ark Seekers, who only knew how to eat people. Ark Seekers are not only fast, but also very powerful. Fortunately, their weakness is their fear of sunlight, so Ark Seeker can only operate at night. It is now three years after the outbreak of the virus. New York has become an empty city. Robert is the only human left in the city, and this dog is his only companion. Robert is a former military scientist. For three years, He's been working on antibodies to the virus. He hopes to restore Ark Seeker to a human being. He also uses the Raid O every day to find other survivors and agreed on a meeting place at the pier. Robert would wait there every day at noon. When he was bored, he would go to the aircraft carrier to play golf. But for three years, he hadn't seen anyone. On this day Robert went out hunting again with his dog. The chased prey soon escaped into a dark factory. However, the dog also followed him in. This made Robert furious, because this dark environment is probably the habitat of Ark Seekers. The dog did not come out. He finally got up the courage to go into. Soon Robert found the dog on the ground. When he got closer, he realized it was the moose from earlier. Then Robert looked at the light. There was a large group of Ark Seekers sleeping in front of him. He immediately reached out and blocked the light. Robert then spotted the dogs as well. At this moment, the dog was hiding under the table. He immediately called for the dog to leave with him, but the dog was staring forward in fear. Robert immediately turned around to look. Ark Seeker suddenly rushed out from behind him. The sound of gunfire woke up the sleeping Ark Seekers. Robert took the dog and immediately ran towards the exit. Soon there was a bright light ahead of them. Just as Ark Seeker was about to catch up with him, Robert jumped out of the window. The Ark Seeker behind him also fell down with him. The time outside was exactly noon. The Ark Seeker died quickly in the sunlight. Robert looked at the Ark Seeker's lair again. His experiment had reached a critical point. He was now short of an Ark Seeker to conduct live experiments. Robert sets a trap at the door. He used his own blood as bait. With the trap successfully triggered, Robert was able to capture an Ark Seeker. But just as he was about to leave, another Ark Seeker suddenly rushed to the door. He hissed at Robert despite the sunlight burning his body. But Robert didn't think much of it. He quickly took Ark Seeker back to the lab. The Ark Seeker he caught this time was a female. After Robert injected her with the antivirus serum, Ark Seeker's heart rate soon began to drop. Her body temperature was slowly returning to normal. Just as Ark Seeker was beginning to regain her human characteristics, her body suddenly began to twitch violently. She then let out a hiss of pain. Her heart soon stopped beating. Robert saw this and injected her with the virus. Now she reverted to her Ark Seeker form. This was Robert's 391st experiment. He had been trying to use his immune cells to create a serum to treat infected hosts for years. After recording the data from this experiment, Robert also wheeled Ark Seeker into the observation room. He then took the dog out for a drive. But at that moment, he noticed a man under the building. Robert immediately grabbed his weapon and got out of the car. It's a mannequin that doesn't move. Robert shot at it like crazy. Because this is a city where he is the only one who lives, the dog couldn't have appeared out of nowhere. And when the doll was shot to pieces, he immediately went forward to check out the situation. As the car behind him fell off the bridge, Robert was hoisted into the air by the trap. His head was slowly bleeding from the impact. Soon Robert passed out. When he woke up again, the dog was barking below him. 
The alarm clock on his what had gone off. Robert immediately looked towards the sky. The sun was about to set. Robert immediately took out his dagger and cut the rope. But when he landed, the dagger accidentally stabbed him in the thigh. Robert immediately shouted in pain, but he didn't have time to treat the wound now. He dragged his injured leg to the car under the dog's comfort, but then the dog suddenly looked into the distance. As the sun went down, the last Ark Seeker also reappeared. It directly released three vicious dogs to pounce on this side. Fortunately, the sunlight temporarily blocked them. Robert immediately accelerated his speed to escape, but the last ray of sunlight soon disappeared. The vicious dogs instantly rushed towards Robert. At this critical moment, his dog rushed towards them to protect Robert. The reactive Robert also immediately took out his pistol and shot, although he succeeded in killing one vicious dog. But the last one was coming towards him. Robert was in danger. The vicious dog broke free again and came to his aid. Robert took the opportunity to pick up the pistol and kill the vicious one. However, in the battle just now, his dog was also seriously wounded. Robert immediately took him back to the lab. After injecting the dog with the antivirus serum, Robert held him tightly in his arms. This dog was his family's last memento. Three years ago, after the outbreak of the virus, the government quickly put the entire city of New York on lockdown. Because Robert was a colonel, so his family was put on a plane and evacuated. His daughter gave the dog to Robert before she left. She hoped that the dog would protect her father for her. However, at the moment the plane took off, the zombie crisis also broke out. The plane just took off and was instantly pounced on by Ark Seeker. By the time Robert came back to his senses, he found a large amount of hair in his hands. At this moment, the dog's pupils not only began to grow larger, even its teeth were growing rapidly. Eventually the dog mutated. Robert had to close his eyes and strangle him to death. Seeing his only companion gone like this, Robert also became despondent after burying the dog. This time he did not return to the base as usual. Instead, he went to the pier and set up a trap. When it was dark, the Ark Seekers were indeed attracted to this place. Just as they were running towards the bait, Robert came out from behind in his car. He was now out to avenge the death of his dog. Ark Seeker soon died of their injuries after his impact. However, the Ark Seeker King soon rushed up. The Ark Seekers, organized by him, seemed to have intelligence. They first climbed up the street lamp and pulled him down before slamming him hard into the car. Robert tried to start the car at this point, but under the command of Ark Seeker King, a large number of Ark Seekers had already rushed over quickly. After their fierce attack, the car was knocked out of the way. By the time Robert reacted, Ark Seeker King had already arrived at the car window. Just as it was about to bite Robert to death, a bright light suddenly shone through. By the time Robert woke up again, he had already returned to his base. It turned out that a mother and son had saved him. Anna received the broadcast through the radio, so she also happened to save Robert. Next she had to take her son Ethan to Camp Doom. There are supposedly a lot of survivors there, but Robert was not hopeful. Although 1% of the human population had developed antibodies during the outbreak, but they had been hunted and killed by Ark Seekers. Robert suddenly heard the Ark Seekers roar. It was dawn when they returned yesterday, and Robert's wounds were bleeding all the time. Now the Ark Seekers have tracked them here. A group of Ark Seekers were coming towards the base quickly. Robert immediately flicked the light switch. The area around the house was instantly lit up like daylight. The intense light could do damage to the Ark Seekers. But with the Ark Seekers attacking one after another, the flashing lights were soon all extinguished. Ark Seekers attacked again, so Robert detonated the bomb he had bought in advance. By the time the violent explosion had passed, Ark Seekers outside were already dead and wounded. Then Robert went upstairs to look for Anna, but a window on the second floor was also shattered by the explosion. He was immediately attacked by King of Ark Seeker. Under the powerful attack of his opponent, Robert was thrown out of the room. King of Ark Seeker wanted to continue his attack, but Robert landed right next to the weapon. He grabbed a machine gun and started firing wildly. King of Ark Seeker had to hide for a while. Robert saw that the enemy was hiding in the kitchen. He shot the gas cans directly. This forced King of Ark Seeker to jump out. Then, with him in pursuit, King of Ark Seeker had to escape from the window again. But now the crisis wasn't over. Back outside, King of Ark Seeker immediately roared and summoned all his followers. A large number of Ark Seekers were already rushing forward. They were agile and powerful. Since all the entrances had been closed by iron gates, Ark Seekers climbed up the walls. They then overwhelmed the roof. Ark Seekers started to search around the room. Meanwhile, Robert and Anna had taken refuge in the lab. Here, they also found a surprising scene. The female Ark Seeker who had been injected with the serum 
had now regained some of her human characteristics. Just as Robert was about to continue his search, Arc Seekers had also found the place by now. They start banging frantically on the bulletproof glass. Robert shouted that he had found a cure that would make Arc Seeker human again. At that moment, Keen of Arc Seeker also rushed in. He knocked down the useless followers and started to hit the glass himself. The bulletproof glass gradually began to crack under the force of his impact. The look in his eyes was full of murderous anger towards Robert. Robert could not communicate with the King of Arc Seeker, so he began to extract the blood of the female Arc Seeker because it contained the antidote to the virus. Then he sent Anna into the escape tunnel and handed Anna the serum as well, and he chose to stay behind to deal with everything. Before he died, Robert took out a picture of his family. Now he had done his job, he then decisively pulled the bomb bracelet. Just as the King of Arc Seeker rushed up, he didn't hesitate to jump on him. Anna led Ethan to the survivor camp, and the serum that Robert exchanged his life for became the last hope for mankind. The movie actually has another ending. Robert did not die with the King of Arc Seeker. He chose to take the initiative to return the female Arc Seeker, and the King of Arc Seeker finally let them go. When they left the next day, Robert also said to Anna, judging from the trap Arc Seeker set for him earlier, it has evolved its intelligence, and the King of Arc Seeker has rescued the 